I hate people who are late, and the guy that I'm waiting for should have been here more than an hour ago. I can't stand it. I can't stand any of the reasons why people are late, whether they didn't plan their time properly, had a problem, or even worse, know that the person who's waiting for them doesn't have a choice. The man that should have been here an hour ago has documents that I need to have if I want to leave this state with the girl. Without those, I would have to stay in this dump for who knows how long. All of a sudden, the joint's door starts to creak. Someone's coming in. A horrible stench of cologne fills me nostrils. It's him. It's Smiley. He sits down at the bar and starts talking like we were old friends. I cut him short and I ask him if he has what I need. He puts the documents on the table, a nautical passport and a permit to let the girl get on board. He tells me that the passport is missing the photograph and that I'll have to get one myself. Then he takes a napkin and writes a name. Saint Marie de la Mer. This is the name of the ship that I have to take to leave New York. Getting on a mercantile ship pretending to be a sailor is the only way that I have found to leave the state. And according to what Smiley says, I'll have to get to Brooklyn to do so. I expressly asked to set sail from Newark, but Smiley doesn't seem to have understood. I'm grasped by an incredible desire to punch him in the face, but it's not the time. I give Smiley the money. Fifty bucks. Too much for false documents, but not that excessive considering that they are the only way to save me life. After taking the money, Smiley sputters something that sounds like good luck and leaves. Taken within the stench of his cologne, dabbed on in the hope of hiding the chemical stench of the crap he works with all day. Ridiculous. The guy that I almost put in the slammer a few years back for forging documents is now the same guy from whom I'm buying me freedom. Destiny is a strange thing. Better take them. John Ford? That idiot Smiley used the first name he thought of to falsify these documents. Knowing him, I should have checked them out before giving him the money. But apart from breaking his nose, there isn't much I could have done. I need to leave this state as soon as possible, and I definitely don't have time to redo the documents considering that I need a photograph for them to be useful. Ketchup, napkins, and various condiments. Everything that you need to give flavor to the swill they serve in this place. I'm in the middle of nowhere with a stolen car and a girl that I don't even know. What a great situation. That could be helpful. I don't have any idea what I could do with it, but I'll take it anyway. I bet that if I looked up the word yokel in the dictionary, I'd find a photograph of this guy. Jefferson Davis, Alexander Stevens, and other guys who a few decades ago wanted America's cessation. Fantastic. All I needed was secessionist nostalgia. The sign in front of the station says gas. It's the car I used to get here. Considering who I stole it from, I don't think it'll be reported as stolen. Hmm, it's a sort of photographic set. There are some wires running under the platform. This stuff probably needs to be plugged in. It doesn't work. I don't think it's plugged in. A cornfield. It's in bad shape. Most of the plants are dry or rotten.
I'll take a few kernels of corn. I took the only kernels that aren't rotten. What do you want, stranger? Is this your place? Yes, and the rifle I keep in my hands as well. I see that there's a warm welcome in this house. My friend, this place sees mostly farmers and truck drivers, and I don't like you, your little friend, and that guy who came in a while ago. I'm just passing through. I hope it. City slickers don't do well here. Is that cornfield back there yours? Did the Winchester send you? No one sends me. Who are the Winchesters? Sons of bitches who bought the farm back there a few months ago. You don't seem to like them that much. Nah, they're good for nothing. You just have to look at how they keep their farm. The only thing they know how to do is drink and smoke on the porch. And why should they send someone to ask questions? Because the other night I shot one of them in the ass. Those Bastards, after dusk, they come to the back of my gas pump and they start playing with their guns. They shoot at whatever they see. I warned them that even if one of those bullets touched my pumps, the whole place is gonna blow up, but they didn't listen. So the other night, as soon as I heard them shooting, I went out and I shot one of them in the ass. And that idiot ran away yelling like a little girl. <laughs> Good story. Stranger, this isn't a big city. This is how we take care of things around here. And the same goes for you. Give me crap and I'll turn your city ass into a calendar. Just point your gun at me once and I'll show you the difference between your old piece and my revolver. Huh. How does this camera out here work? What do you want to know? When I'm not talking to yokels, I dabble in photography. Huh. So, does that thing outside work or not? No. I only use it when the Bunyan Derby goes by. Bunyan Derby? What the hell is that? Every March the 3rd, a marathon comes by from Los Angeles. About 200 idiots for three months trudge along Route 66 to New York. When they go by, they all want a photograph to remember their achievement. So I bought that thing there. I need to take a photograph. This is a gas station, not a photographer's lab. You need a photograph? Do like everyone else does and go see old Elliot in town. That old half-wit will be more than happy to have a new customer. I need it now. And that's your problem, stranger. I have to go. Okay. That panel definitely powers up the photography set that's outside here. If I could get my hands on it, I could turn on that device. An oil lamp. Before I go back to New York, I need to figure out the problem of the photograph and the documents. Before I go... It's the wick. The gas cap. The tank's empty. One of the gas pumps is leaking. The pail is used to catch the leaking gas. What should I use with it? Even if there's only a few drops of kerosene, it should be enough to make the lamp work.
Now it should light up without problems. Better put the pail back in case I need more kerosene. A gun with a silencer. The quietest way to take care of certain business. It fits perfectly. This idea is so crazy that it might just work. Damn, Winchesters, here we go again. The lesson from the last time clearly wasn't enough. Hey, you! I know you're hiding in the cornfields. Get out here if you have any guts, you sons of bitches. I'll show you. Now that the yokel's gone, there's nothing stopping me from using this panel. Good. Now that it works, let's see if I can make it as a photographer. I take the photograph and cut it somehow. Before attaching the documents, I hesitate for a second. From now on, my name is John Fard. Sean McLean doesn't exist anymore. Sean McLean is dead. Then I make up my mind and I attach the damn photo. I don't have time to get all misty-eyed now. The documents should be fine now. I can finally get away from this place. Time to go. The car's headlights slice through the dark desolation of Essex County. I look for some landmarks to make the trip less boring, but I can't find anything. There's just darkness around me, and the car whizzes by in the middle of the road. <laughs> 